Hi everyone, welcome and welcome back on my YouTube channel. Today I will be review pair on my Cartier bracelet. Right here I have two just unglue bracelet and two love bracelet. So I will divide it on one set on regular, one set on SM. Okay, so first I will let you know on the pricing for this one. Right here, love bracelet regular, it costs 6900 And for just unglue in regular, current price is 7000 500 and this one right here here love bracelet sm it costs 4450 and the last one right here is just unglue sm it costs 3400 okay so for both of these on pair it costs 7850 okay and the regular it costs 14400 so this one is the current price and for this one in regular with the white gold it costs much more expensive i think i believe 550 different on the white gold on the regular so white gold is always way much more expensive okay so right here I'm gonna talk about the sizing the size on the SM in love bracelet this one is 16 the same as the uh, regular okay the pair on SM is rose gold and the pair on gold is yellow gold okay now we will see okay now we will see the screw on the bracelet so this is the inside this one is on SM and this one is regular okay and then on this side uh, this one is SM and this one is regular okay so the thickness on the bracelet is almost similar just a little bit thick on the regular just very little bit okay as you see very very little okay and then and this is on juice and glue the regular is way much more thicker okay and then we're going to pair it so okay now we see the pair on this uh, two bracelet which one you prefer the sm or the regular and let me try on so that you can see so this is uh, each pair the regular and the sm because you often ask me in the comment so now you see this is the pair and which one you like more the regular or the sm i think if you planning to get this bracelet you should try on the store and my wrists are 14 centimeter and this is the way on the set look like if you planning to buy okay so on this uh each pair the love bracelet is 16 and the juice and glue is 15 both are the same okay if you have any question so far on the bracelet please comment down below and i think that's all the review on the cartier bracelet set because i have not made this kind of video on cartier uh, set uh, bracelet i hope you enjoy and thank you so much for watching i will see you soon on my next video okay take care bye
Hey guys, welcome back on my YouTube channel. Hope you all well. Today I'm super excited. On this video, I will be sharing with you on my entire jewelry collection, included some accessories. You might not see uh, on my because the silver collection is not with me, and also you might see the old video uh, jewelry tour. I been uh, declutter some of my jewelry and changing the style. I did sold my click clack in the past. My uh, Kelly Double Tour. Uh, also, I sold one of my Hermes CDC with gold hardware, so the black one. Uh, at the moment, I keep three from Hermes and let me start uh, from this side, okay? Uh, because I share my uh, jewelry on my YouTube channel and you guys really like to watch my jewelry video. So why not? Uh, today is uh, 12th of December uh, 2022 and I wanted to share with you all my entire jewelry collection included accessories because um, soon is 2023 so you might want to see all my entire jewelry that i been using here in bali on my day-to-day -day life okay so on this video is going to be super long i will not try on if you miss to uh, see me try on the jewelry you can click on my uh, other uh, video okay so i will be start from here on this uh, side i have set of uh, blue topaz with diamond uh, and this is the only set that I have uh, on a white gold. I bought this one is over than uh, 10 years. I got this one in uh, Japan and moving on to this side uh, This is a dainty bracelet that I bought from uh, Greece uh, I think I, I can't remember a long time ago uh, and this one is a uh, it's a quite new. I bought this one from uh, Dubai uh, on my trip to Dubai last time, and this is super colorful. I love this bracelet. And from here, uh, I have two different dainty bracelet. I bought this one uh, a long time ago. This one is uh, yellow gold, and this is uh, I bought together with the white gold from Japan. And okay, so I move on to this side. I have a. Uh, here uh the devil eye or evil eye i bought this one from uh greek and on the side of the devil eye uh, this is tiffany necklace and this one as well this one is the bracelet from uh, tiffany uh as you see on the uh charm uh, these two are tiffany this is the cross necklace 18k yellow gold and this is as well from tiffany this one is diamond ring and let's move on to this side uh, this is i have two from uh, cartier and the name of this bracelet is uh, juice and glue or nail bracelet uh, i have this one in size 15 both of them and on this side i have a uh, cartier uh, sm bracelet uh, Right here is uh, rose gold and this one is yellow gold, size 16 and size 15. Uh, right here uh, I have uh, two from Hermes. Uh, one is Hermes uh, Kelly bracelet and one is CDC bracelet. On on this is a, a Tiffany a T wire bracelet and this is the medium size. And let me uh, moving on to this side on this side is uh, this one is uh, I bought this one over 10 years ago from Japan and with the tiny diamond right there and this one I just recently purchased when I moved here to Bali this one is just a uh, beautiful dainty uh, uh, 17k uh, gold necklace and this is uh, my uh, tiny tiny uh, uh, how to call it I forgot um, pinky 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 uh, ring and this one is size 3 uh, moving on uh, I just uh, recently purchased this one as well this is rose gold and the style is looking like fun cliff and arrows but it's, it is not fun cliff okay and right here I have uh, okay this one first this is a uh, uh, 17k just yellow gold super dainty and super pretty uh, as you see and right here I have a uh, two different uh, uh, gold necklace one is yellow gold and one is uh, rose gold and this is you necklace or hardware uh, chain link necklace and this one is paper link uh, necklace uh, 
paper clip I mean so I just recently purchased this one and I do like this too because this is a choker uh, necklace super stylish and uh, at the moment is super uh, trend now we moving on to this side uh, this is three of my pearl necklace uh, two of them are uh, real pearl and this is a uh, fresh water pearl and this one is just full from uh, Chanel uh, I have a nice story on this one because I uh, purchased directly to the owner and she uh, retired so she sold all her uh, uh, pearl uh, jewelry collection so I bought two of them and until today i do love it okay so right here i have uh, this is a uh, inspire guys uh, this is a super uh, beautiful uh, gold uh, bracelet but this is not a uh, real just unclue i just make a comparison uh, last time in between uh, the real uh, just unclue and the inspire if you are planning to get a just unclue on a budget so you can get just a, a gold bracelet okay so by the way today uh, you might not see my uh, rolex watch i am wearing my rolex watch today so i show you now you might not see as well uh, the love bracelet uh, regular because i'm wearing the bracelet today okay so let's move on to the uh, uh, accessories so right here i have a uh, two different uh, bracelet one is a uh, dior uh, actually this one is resin if i'm not uh, uh, mistaken the uh, material on this bracelet this one is resin and crystal this one is from uh, christian dior super pretty uh, why i bought this one i think uh, <laughs> it is super uh, sparkling and resin also uh, uh, suitable for my uh, lifestyle here in Bali because I can wear this uh, pretty bracelet to the beach and I can swim uh, with this bracelet uh, that's why I bought this one uh, I think I, I buy this one in uh, Thailand okay so and this is uh, just uh, just nice bracelet I bought this one in uh, Dubai uh, love it love it love it and Right here, I have a uh, three different uh, stone uh, bracelet and super uh, cute. Uh, I have the tiny uh, turtle on the bracelet. Um, I don't know the name of the stone. I think this one is tiger stone and and two other. I really don't know. I forgot the name. And right here, I have uh, three of my Hermes uh, bracelet, a uh, calf bracelet. Uh, I think I uh, make a video of them uh, this is just a uh, uh, leather uh, accessories from Hermes um, let's moving on to this side uh, this one is uh, Ana Luisa and I got this accessories uh, sponsor from Ana Luisa on my video so this one is uh, Michelle earring and this one is just zodiac uh, necklace um, this is exactly my zodiac I'm Aries and right here I have a super pretty just a uh, gold earring I, I bought this one on the street actually when I walking uh, in the morning in Hong Kong and uh, there is a uh, old couple under the bridge trying to selling all uh, their uh, possession and then I bought this one a uh, super cheap actually uh, they have a set on this one necklace and the bracelet on the bracelet they have a stamp uh, written like uh, the initial of the design who made this uh, jewelry the earring the bracelet and the necklace the sign is on the bracelet but unfortunately the bracelet it was uh, too big uh, i don't know i forgot the sign but i still remember two alphabet and then uh, in the end it has new york uh, okay this is super pretty uh, clip earring uh, actually super cheap uh, less than one dollar i believe but it becoming my uh, favorite uh, gold earring um, it's just a uh, super artistic and super nice on my uh, face shape I don't know uh, I think uh, the seller uh, bought it uh, ma way much more expensive but uh, because they just want to get rid of all their uh, belonging I think uh, 
they uh, the couple sell it a uh, super cheap to me okay so right here i have a uh, two of uh, accessories and this is uh, apm monaco uh, it's super bling uh, okay this is the ring from apm monaco i actually uh, not wearing this ring that much i don't know somehow uh, it's just not my favorite anymore and let's moving on to this side uh, right here i have a uh, uh, Chanel earring as you see guys. I'm showing you now the earring is uh, broken uh, I miss one of the stone the pearl. Uh, I'm disappointed at the quality of the Chanel and I don't know how uh, did this happen. Uh, I just realized uh, when I wanted to wear in the morning the stone is missing Okay, so on the next uh, Accessories is here uh, Chanel earring as well. This one is the uh, super tiny one. I love it, but uh, No, I'm getting afraid because one is missing the uh, Stone the pearl so I need to be super careful with the other one. Okay, so three other uh, Chanel earring right here uh, dangle earring and also this one but uh, different uh, type of a dangle a uh, two different type of dangle earring one is uh, just gold and uh, one uh, with the faux pearl okay uh, right here also still a chanel uh, earring uh, this one is the rounded with uh, faux pearl uh, super class super classic i like it and uh, let's moving on to this side uh, right here i have a dior uh, this is a dior dior earring uh, somehow I love it so much this one is super rare and uh, becoming my favorite in the past i have a uh, dior earring uh, tribal i have it like uh, maybe a year on tribal and then i sold it i changed it to this one uh, i don't know the tribal i don't like it but this uh, dangle earring from dior is uh, outstanding on my face okay so let's move on to this side and this is a uh, dior choker necklace um, Super stylish, super like it. Uh, I keep this one. Uh, I still like it. I don't know in the future if I will uh, be keeping this uh, Dior Choker necklace uh, with me forever. Uh, I'm not sure. If I'm 60, I don't have the order. Uh, do I still can rock this uh, necklace, guys? I don't know. Okay, so let's moving on to this side. Uh, this is just you uh, earring. I got this one together with uh, this um, necklace. Um, you guys uh, have a comment on my uh, YouTube channel uh, where I get this uh, necklace uh, I got here in Bali and the local jewelry shop is super super uh, small shop guys um, I, I I believe they don't even sell it online okay uh, I trying to get this necklace uh, many many times in the store and I've been asking uh, if they have a stock like this and they say no 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 until uh, a month later they call me a few days ago uh, they have it so I come and to get the necklace okay and this is the set of the uh, jewelry this one is the earring together and I love it uh, this one is just casual earring rose gold uh, super simple but super stylish okay let's move on to this side right here I have uh, two two fun cliff earring one is onyx stone one is pearl okay uh, because this is super uh, tiny so let me uh, zoom in uh, this is the one with the pearl uh, super 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 tiny uh, earring but oh my god um, since I don't have a really fancy life here in Bali guys I think this is the best choice uh, also um, I have super thin uh, uh, super thin uh, ear loop so uh, sweet alhambra is uh, the best uh, choice for me even though I really really wanted to get the vintage one but it is still uh, the best uh, uh, for my size okay so let me show you this one uh, this is the one with the onyx uh, this is super beautiful as well uh, uh, this one is uh, yellow gold but what I noticed on these two uh, fun cliff and our balls uh, sweet guys uh, on the back uh, the post on the earring it is actually different uh, you see right I just noticed uh, today <laughs> I think because uh, one is uh, onyx and one is the pearl so they, ha they have a different code okay okay so right here I have uh, 
two fun clip and our post uh, uh, necklace and this is a different style uh, and again guys uh, I like my jewelry uh, that I can carry for my everyday uh, life I mean I can wear it uh, for everyday uh, with this too uh, for me the perfect choice because uh, I just can uh, pair this uh, any outfit and uh, this is this necklace is fancy necklace but uh, since i have the right uh, choice uh, for myself i can wear this to a necklace uh, very very often very often i mean uh, very often um, you know when you uh, choose the jewelry you you have to choose uh, the right uh, choice otherwise you will uh, lay your jewelry on the jewelry box and you uh, don't like it but to me, this two is just uh, perfect. Okay, uh, let me zoom because this is super small. I still not clean uh, this uh, necklace. And this is the pearl. The pearl are super pretty. The color is always changing. And sometimes I see uh, pink, gray, white, a little bit bluish, greenish, all purple. The loose star is super pretty on the uh, pendant. Okay, so. Okay, so moving on to this side, I forgot to mention uh, these two, uh, three uh, earrings, okay? So, for this one is, uh, this one I forgot the the brand. Let me check if they have the brand, guys. Oh, here, insert, insert, Artini, I don't know. Uh, I forgot I bought this one long time ago. This one just hoop earring, super pretty and just uh, gold. And this one is uh, Chiffon Shi. I got this one in a vintage shop in Thailand, but uh, somehow, uh, I don't know. Uh, because this is clip earring, I'm worried when I'm wearing this earring, I need to be careful and it has tarnished a bit. So this, I don't know if I will keep in the future. I don't like the tarnish on the earring. Uh, this one is pearl and this is uh, my old uh, earring uh, i buy this one in uh, Boracay, uh, philippines love it and this is a uh, fresh water pearl uh, yeah super pretty little bit pinkish okay uh, i think i mentioned everything here uh, oh yeah let me zoom this too okay so yeah this one is the fun cliff and our pearls earring love it love it love it and uh my favorite uh earring okay guys so i hope you're not bored watching all my entire uh, jewelry and accessories and now it's becoming messy again because when i put on the box i think i have difficulty to showing you because i need uh, to hold and to remove the uh, shell on the box so when i lying on the bed like this you can see all the entire uh, collection on my jewelry and accessories i think uh, at the moment i have uh, enough on my accessories and jewelry uh, i don't know i uh, just not uh, planning to get uh, some more because um, it is getting heavier and heavier uh, i wish i can wear uh, this all uh, on my single day but unfortunately i can't and uh, different on my mood which one i want to wear every single day okay uh, i think too much uh, also not good uh since now end of the year i think it's good to showing you uh, some all uh, all the uh, jewelry if you have not seen my uh jewelry tour uh the first video i will link uh, down below and you can watch and this is the second video on my uh, jewelry tour uh i don't want to have uh, too much on everything uh am i might thinking to declutter some uh hopefully very soon also on my handbag on my clothing um and uh since now i'm still uh not in the fixed place uh i have difficulty to carry just a lot of stuff so yeah guys uh i think uh, uh just simple uh good enough to wear for every day um just uh, enough not too much okay okay guys thank you so much for watching if you have any question uh leave me comment down below appreciate that you watching my video for all this year thank you for your support subscribing and commenting and like thank you so much i appreciate all what you do thank you so much to visiting my uh, youtube channel guys to you all thank you so much a lot of love thank you so much bye bye
everyone welcome on my youtube channel i hope you all doing well today i will be sharing with you on my fine jewelry bracelet collection i have nine in my collection and you guys really like to watch my jewelry video so that's why today i make this video for you so this is all my entire bracelet uh, five from cartier two from hermes and two other from tiffany this two the name of this bracelet is choose and clue and these three love bracelet and, and these two from hermes one Kelly 18k yellow gold and one uh, CDC 18k rose gold and these two are from Tiffany one is tea bracelet and one is bead bracelet okay so let me begin uh, showing you uh, one by one but I'm not going into detail I just want to show you uh, how I wear the uh, bracelet so on this bracelet the mechanism is uh, super nice uh, 10 out of 10 super practical i do love this bracelet and this one is yellow gold size 15 and the name of this bracelet is uh, nail bracelet or juice and glue uh, by the way my wrists are 14 centimeter and i have one uh, size up on this bracelet so let me uh, show you how I wear the bracelet. By the way, I store all my bracelets uh, inside of this pouch, uh, inside of this Cartier velvet pouch. The bracelet are in the open position. Now I'm going to wear the bracelet and how to close it is just push it like this. When it's click, it's closed, okay? And how to wear this bracelet, the right position is the head is always on the top, okay? I don't baby my jewelry, so I have a lot of scratches. And this bracelet is super beautiful and I highly recommend this bracelet if you want to get a bracelet from Cartier. And how to open this bracelet, we just place the index finger right here and push up the index finger together we push the head of the bracelet like this okay it's open and how to close is just do it like this when it's click is close okay so let me uh, move to the next uh, jewelry bracelet the next one in my collection is Cartier Juice and Clue SM this one is rose gold size 15 and these two are the same size uh, the difference is only the gold on this bracelet one is yellow gold and one is rose gold uh, the mechanism is different uh, for sure the SM uh, we can just twist uh, from the side like this to the top okay so the head of the nail bracelet is always on the top uh, to open this bracelet we just uh, do it like this also from the side to side like this okay i'm a little bit more careful with this uh bracelet because i don't want to uh, break this uh beautiful bracelet from cartier uh for a uh, scratch on this bracelet as you see i have a lot of scratches on this bracelet let me compare to this these two are a lot a lot of scratches okay okay so the next one in my collection is uh, this one this is a Cartier Love Bracelet SM this one is in yellow gold size 15 this Cartier is in the open position uh, we can see from the screw is uh, is straight up vertical and how to open the bracelet we can just uh, pull uh, the side together like this and it's open and how to wear the bracelet it just like this and then close it okay close and how to lock the bracelet we uh, screw uh, the screw with the screwdriver like this and right now is in the horizontal position which means close okay uh for this bracelet i have uh, the scratch as well a lot because i love to wear the bracelet if you have any question on the bracelet uh please comment down below at the moment i feel my bracelet have a little bit tighter on my wrist uh i think i have a uh, gain weight a little bit so i feel a little bit tight this one is size 15 on my 14 centimeter wrist and the next one in my collection uh still cartier love bracelet sm uh this one is rose gold size uh, 16 let me uh, open and wear it together so you can see the different uh on the sizing uh we do the same thing how to close the uh bracelet close 
Okay, so now uh, the differences on this bracelet is the gold and the size. Okay, so this is size 16 and this is size 15. And this is rose gold and the other one, this one is yellow gold. As you see on the bracelet, I have major scratch on this bracelet, but anyway, I enjoy to wear them. I highly recommend this uh, Cartier Love Bracelet SM, especially if you have small wrists, okay? This is the next one in my collection, Cartier Love Bracelet Regular. Uh, last time I wore this bracelet, it was uh, uh, around two weeks ago, and my uh, boyfriend uh, helped me out to taking off the bracelet because i wore the bracelet uh, for a holiday so i contact a lot with the uh, salt water so i removed the bracelet to just clean it and right now it's clean uh, let me open the bracelet but i think i will have difficulty to wear the bracelet i will just show you how to open the bracelet okay so this is uh, how to unscrew the bracelet like this just unscrew uh, I think uh, if you have a boyfriend or husband, it's much more easier to uh, wear the bracelet, okay? This is in the open position on the bracelet. Uh, how we close the bracelet, we can just uh, put together like this. And we just screw the uh, bracelet like this. As you see, uh, slowly. Also on this side like this if you have husband or boyfriend or someone who can help you to close it's much more easier okay so when the screw in this position on the cartel of bracelet which mean close locked okay this bracelet is super iconic i have a lot of scratches on this bracelet um I really enjoy to wear this bracelet as you see I have major scratch on here and uh, I'm trying to uh, open and close like many many times uh, because I'm practicing uh, in the beginning when I get this bracelet because no one helped me to close and to uh, open so I I practice by myself uh, I don't know if you have uh, the same thing uh, you did uh, like I do like open and close to just practice when you just get the bracelet but I uh, suggest you not do that because uh, when I uh, get this bracelet I open and close and I have difficulty to open I really really uh, open uh, hardly on this bracelet and uh, the screw a little bit um, how to say like a bend because I uh, push it the screw a driver super hard on the screw and uh, it's a little bit uh, how, don't know how to say this like broken I think Uh, this video is quite long. Uh, the next one in my collection is from Hermes and this one is Hermes Kelly uh, with a diamond. Uh, this is 18k yellow gold. I just finished showing you five of my Cartier bracelet. Uh, three is love bracelet and two are just unclue. Uh, I don't have any big problem with this one but I have uh, some time uh, with the Cartier just unclue when the edge of the bracelet snuggling on the clothing. The next one in my bracelet collection is from Hermes and this is Hermes Kelly 18k yellow gold with the diamond. Uh, I recently purchased uh, this bracelet and let me uh, show you how to open. Uh, this is how to open. We just twist like this and open. To close, just do it like this and open. So let me wear the bracelet and this is size uh, extra small XS and this is how we close the bracelet. Uh, on this bracelet I just recently purchased pre-love and already have uh, scratches but uh, I do love this bracelet uh, a lot uh, and also I recommend it. Okay now it's in the vertical position which means it's locked. And how to open we just twist it again and we pull up and it's open and twist it again is locked okay 
So the next one in my collection is Hermes uh, CDC and this is uh, rose gold uh, compared to Kelly. The Kelly is in yellow gold and the CDC in rose gold. Uh, these two are from Hermes. The mechanism on this bracelet is quite uh, complicated. <laughs> it is a little bit difficult to explain. Uh, we, uh, how we wear this bracelet is uh, we check on the side, okay? So let me show you also uh, from the inside. This is uh, definitely for opening on the bracelet, which is on this side, on the left. And how we open the bracelet, we push it like this and twist it downside and push up okay this is how we open the bracelet and how we close it is just uh, push it again together and push down push and it's close do it again push slide down and it's open and the bracelet right now is open the mechanism uh, on this bracelet is much more complicated I think the most complicated uh, bracelet to wear okay and this is how i close the bracelet okay i just use my index finger and my thumbs push it together and you can feel it is close okay just little push with the uh, thumbs with uh, middle finger and the thumbs together okay so that's the way how to close uh, the bracelet and how to open and this is how i open the bracelet uh, it is super complicated if you're not used to it. Uh, I used to it so I can feel how I uh, open and lock the bracelet. But if you just get this bracelet, please comment down below. Um, it is not easy to open and close. Definitely not. Okay, so I have uh, two from Hermes. And now uh, I'm going to show you the next one in my collection. The last one in my collection is going to be from Tiffany & Co. So I have two. Uh, at the moment in my collection uh, one is Tiffany & Co T-wire bracelet and this is rose gold uh, the sizing on this bracelet is medium uh, I love this bracelet and I wore them a lot and the last one is uh, Tiffany bead bracelet with a uh, heart tag tiny heart tag uh, blue enamel this size uh, XS the most uh, smaller size in the collection so this is tiffany bead bracelet uh, super pretty and i do love it a lot this is the tiny charm on the bracelet eu 750 uh, stand for uh, gold uh, super like this uh, bracelet super light and i love it a lot that's all my fine jewelry collection i hope you enjoy this video and I will see you soon on my next one. Take care. Bye.
Hi everyone, welcome and welcome back to my YouTube channel. I hope you all doing well. Today I will be showing you how you can do brow lamination at home. I will be reading some of your comments as well for the last two weeks, and I will be showing you my favorite fake lashes. Okay, so the product that I will be using today is from Benefit. First, I will be showing you how you can do brow lamination at home, and then reading some of your comments. And in the end, I will be showing you my favorite fake lashes. And please grab your coffee because this video is gonna be a little bit long. I have my coffee right here because here in Bali now is still morning. And before I start the brow lamination, let me show you my jewelry and my outfit. So today I'm wearing just plain gold oversized earring and layering my front clip and our balls necklace. Also the paper clip necklace. As you see, I have three layers of necklace and my watch and my bracelet stuck. I wear this unglue bracelet, love bracelet. This and the outfit that I wearing today is a dress from Zara. This is linen, very nice dress. And this is actually uh, the back side, but uh, the way I'm wearing this dress, I turn around and the back is on the front. But actually it's quite nice. I kind of like it. It's a little bit sexy. It's really good for summer if you like a linen and summery dress. So get this one so you can wear it two way. I kind of like it a lot. So okay, so let's start to brow lamination. By the way, today I'm not wearing any foundation or, or powder. I'm just wearing a little bit blush and eyeshadow and um, let's do the brow lamination. Okay, the product that I'm going to use for brow lamination is Benefit. This one is 24 hour brow setter and this is the tool. I think this one is included when I bought this uh, brow lamination gel and it's just stick wood. Okay, let's get started. Let me open the gel. This one is just a clear gel. It is like a glue actually. If you can see. Okay, so let me just start to brush and apply the glue and then the gel. On the side of my brow, I don't have so much hair. So mostly I just brush on this and until the middle. And you see the brush? It is flat on the middle and two side a small brush and then after we apply the gel we brush a little bit upward and then we're gonna press with the stick. This gel is super quick, dry. When I wanted to set my brow, I set my brow before my makeup because the gel is thick sometimes. Uh, get the mess with the foundation okay so now we can adjust press with the stick gentle press and hold and then repeat and sometimes on the corner I just do it like this because I don't have so much hair You see it's already different on the side, this side and this side, before and after. Which one do you like? Please comment. So yeah, this one is simple bro lamination at home. This one is not permanent. I think some they do it permanent in the salon, but I prefer to do it like this at home. Okay, so let's try on the left side. You can also press with the flat part on the brush. Just apply the gel and then brush it. You see, with a small brush. Burn on the look if we do brow lamination you know somehow it's just we need to try something different it's just like one minute each make sure uh, the skin 
on the brow area is clean and the brow is clean as well so make the gel easier to stick on the skin so you see let me close the gel it will get dry super quick okay I'm done with the brow lamination uh, as you see it is looking uh, pretty right I'm done with the brow lamination uh, I show you how quick and easy to do it at home by yourself and this is the result I think not too much because uh, I don't have so much hair on the corner of my brow but look um, it's different so let's do reading your comment before I read your comment let me have a sip of my coffee okay I will be start reading the comment from today on to two week okay so the first one is from Hadiman Rusli hi could you review Saint Laurent Sakti Jor 48 and the leather jacket L01 thanks and I think I uh, reply already. I don't have the item. Um, uh, sorry. So you can search to another YouTube channel. I hope that you find the review on the other channel. Okay. So the next one is from MK. So she uh, asked the question about the juice and glue Cartier bracelet. So the MK says, "Hi, I got mine in size 15 centimeter and is loose like how yours on your wrist." But mine sometimes turns around like the nail head side goes the other way around. Yes, it does turn around and happen to me, especially the Cartier Juice Unclue SM. Uh, rarely on the Juice Unclue regular, on the SM, yes, quite often. And the next uh, question is from Deline Jackson. How long is your face numb after fat face transfer so what i feel after i have my fat transfer the numb is about one month the nerve is coming back after five six weeks and in two months you can uh feeling normal uh it come uh it come back slowly uh the way you feel your face okay so the next one also still on my uh surgery so this one is from onions broccoli <laughs> funny name so is this your first time uh, getting face fat uh, crafting? Looks really good. Uh, great channel, by the way. Yes, this is my first time. I got my fat transfer and now it is still good after over then one year. Okay, and do I will uh, repeat to do face fat crafting? Uh, maybe, but maybe after maybe five years. I don't know. Let's see. Okay, so the next question is from Mina Hilal. Uh, hey there hey so what is your size in love bracelet so I'm wearing size 15 to 16 on love bracelet okay so the next one is from funky diva 1201 hello hello does ether your loves have the new screw enhancement yes my love bracelet have new screw enhancement okay so the next one is from Elsa Wait, I thought there was only silver on those. So Elsa, you commenting on my Tiffany bead bracelet. Actually, that bracelet have so many different material. There is uh, white gold, silver, rose gold, also yellow gold. I believe they also have from Pearl. Okay, so the next question, the last one is from Irina Kuba Sofa. Hi, hi. So the question is, please share if the gold finish removes with time or it stays perfectly on the necklace. So Irina basically asking about my Dior chocolate necklace. So the gold is stay very good quality on Dior Denseus Etoil necklace. So it not uh, tarnish and yeah, it stay. I will be start from the lasses that I wearing today. So today I'm wearing Ardell and this one is Demi Wispies and Studio Effect. And this one is the one that I'm wearing now. It's super nice, light, and you see it is super pretty. I like it and match with my hoodie eye. And when I wanted to uh, look my eye uh, wider, I guess uh, apply a uh, how to say like uh, shimmery eyeshadow in the middle of my my eye so it will look more white uh, 
So I get comment that I have uh, eyelid surgery. Actually, I have not done eyelid surgery at all. So far, uh, my eye, I still uh, untouch and yeah still natural and with this eyelashes someone has commenting that i had my surgery done on my eyelid okay so yeah this one is uh, the one that i get comment that i got my eyelid surgery okay so which means this eyelash really have a good effect on my eyelid and make my eye uh, open super wide so yeah this one is good for uh hoodie eye like i have my I, this one is the next one uh, this one is just for everyday simple uh, I don't know this one is similar like Ardell but more uh, thinner is still like with piece as well and uh, the last one is from Ardell and this one is way thicker this one is black 207 so this four are my uh, current favorite uh, fake glasses I carefully choosing my fake glasses uh, so I knew exactly what's good for my uh, eye so after I choosing many many times wrong fake glasses so now I know how I choose my fake glasses okay and okay everyone so that's all for today I'm sharing how you can do brow lamination at home and reading your comment I hope you do enjoy the video thank you so much for watching I will see you soon Hello everyone, welcome and welcome back on my YouTube channel. My name is Titi. For both of you who are new to my YouTube channel, welcome. Today I will be talking on Tiffany and Cartier bracelet. This is fine luxury jewelry. So the Tiffany, I will be talking on Tiffany T-Wire bracelet. And for Cartier, I will be talking on Cartier Juice and Glass M. So these bracelet are the most iconic on their collection. And I wanted to talk a little more on the bracelet. And if you are planning to get one of this bracelet, you might need to watch this video. Before I'm showing you the bracelet, I wanted to mention the resize I have 14 centimeter and if you are related to my wrist the sizing on the bracelet is going to look good on your wrist as well so this is the bracelet on Tiffany bracelet I have size medium and on the Cartier just unglue I have 15 okay the current price on Tiffany T wire bracelet is 2400 US dollar for Cartier just unglue SM currently 3600 US dollar okay so this is the bracelet the Tiffany T wire bracelet is medium and the Cartier just unglue SM size 15 as you see it's looking perfect if you have a 14 centimeter wrist let me show you what I don't like on the Cartier just unglue uh, bracelet sometimes the bracelet can hook on your clothing so you must be really careful when you wear it also on the tiffany because the edge is open the pros on this bracelet the pros is this bracelet is super beautiful elegant and you can wear it every day the sizing is just perfect for daily wear okay and the other thing is the bracelet is super iconic of course uh, it's just a luxurious bracelet sometimes it happen the Cartier just unclue is flip like this but if you having this position on the Cartier just unclue don't be panic because I have several time and the thing is you can just flip back the bracelet it does happen to me several time it's not a big problem but you should watch out on your bracelet sometimes it gets scratch okay so yeah there is the pros and con on the bracelet so far if you have any question on these two bracelet please comment down below that's all for the review on this fine luxury bracelet today i hope you enjoyed the video i will see you soon on my next one hi everyone welcome on my youtube channel i hope you all well today i will be sharing with you five set jewelry collection and this jewelry i often wear it together and i will be showing you earring and necklace only okay so without further ado let me show you the first collection is from Van Cleve & Arpel. so i have this rose gold vintage alhambra necklace with onyx sweet alhambra earring this one is my sweet baby so let me show you okay so the first set that i'm showing you is Van Cleve & Arpel's onyx uh 
stone with my vintage Alhambra necklace. I love this pair. Like this pair and this jewelry is complement each other. So yeah, this one is the first set and I will be showing you on the shorter length. Okay, so these are on the shorter length on vintage Alhambra necklace from Van Cleef and Arpels. Really love this pair. Super pretty. The next jewelry is a set of tennis necklace and earring. I bought this one in Bangkok. For this set of jewelry is much more to glamour side and if you are having fancy dinner, you can wearing this type of jewelry. So this is my tennis necklace. Uh, super pretty and tiny and I believe the size on the necklace is 42 cm. You can see the jewelry are super sparkling. The next jewelry set is blue topaz white gold with diamond. This set is super beautiful. Let me tell you what's the difference on these two necklaces is the adjustment hole. On the Van Cleef and Arpels is just right uh, two and the setting on this adjustment hole is on the clubs. You see? So on the Van Cleef and Arpels, this one is the first one and the second one. So with the Van Cleef and Arpels, I'm rarely uh, setting this uh, necklace like this. So I just leave it like this. Let me uh, wear this necklace. Okay, so this uh, next set is blue topaz, white gold with touch of uh, small diamond. I like this set, but sometimes because the earring is super tiny, I feel a little bit worried. Uh, mostly when I'm wearing this uh, set of jewelry, I often... Uh, put back my hair or tie up because I don't want uh, my hair tangling on the earring so yeah super beautiful set and this is on the shorter line on the necklace let me zoom in super beautiful uh, London blue topaz and this one is the earring super super tiny earring and a diamond so I always afraid when I'm wearing this uh, set okay for this set is quiet classic and this one is the classiest style on the jewelry and this is set and this one is set pearl earring and necklace and for this jewelry I think you need to consider to have at least the earring because this one is super classic jewelry and you can get this jewelry from the cheapest price to the most expensive price I believe the size on the necklace is is I think six millimeter also the earring and this one is super classy people are super classy beautiful elegant and I can say it for myself if I only can choose one earring for life I will be choosing a pearl earring forever <laughs> so yeah it's super beautiful elegant and classy classic one word timeless uh, the next on my set jewelry collection is Van Cleef and Arpel Sweet Alhambra Mother of Pearl set earring and necklace so this set is super uh, famous if you are into fine luxury jewelry this necklace has two adjustment hole let me wear it the longer one and then the shorter one by the way i get a lot of questions from my subscriber about the pendant on this necklace do i bother buy the pendant because always moving around flipping around uh, i don't bother at all because it's the design and because of that the design on these two necklaces are different the uh, vintage alhambra is attached dependent on the chain and the sweet one is not attached and yeah sure if we wear it is always flipping around okay so this is the set Van Cleef and Arpel Sweet Alhambra Mother of Pearl in yellow gold and this is the look and I'm wearing on the longer length let me change it to the shorter length okay i'm wearing the necklace on the shorter length and let me zoom in super beautiful the last door is changing the color let me zoom the earring it's super beautiful this is the set and i'm wearing the necklace on the shorter length it's super pretty i'm the person who sometimes like to mix and match my jewelry i like to wear my jewelry set earring and necklace and that's all my minimalist uh, jewelry set. I like to wear my jewelry mix and match sometime and sometimes I just skip a necklace or I skip the earring when one jewelry is already a statement piece. So yeah, I hope you enjoyed this video today and thank you so much for watching. If you have a question on my jewelry, please comment down below. I'm happy to answer your question. Thank you so much for watching.
Hi everyone, welcome and welcome back to my YouTube channel. I hope you all doing well. Today I will be doing birthday haul. I'm super excited to share with you what I got on my 39 years old birthday. And today I'm super excited to share with you what I got. Okay, the first jewelry that I got is earring and this is 22K handmade earring. I love it. This is a local jewelry from Bali and this is yellow gold. Hopefully you can see uh, clearly. It's super beautiful and with this earring i believe i can wear uh, from day to night and any outfit okay let me show you the size on the earring it is sm i have to turn upside down and then this is the stem it is 22k yellow gold okay so let me try on i really love this beautiful uh, oval sharp earring uh, and this is my first time on my balinese earring so this is the look on the earring a super beautiful i think size s are perfect on my ear loop i have very small ear loop by the way uh, before i wear it let me show, show you the post on the back of the earring this is very local and super long and make me much more easier to wear it so yeah this one is the earring is super pretty okay so this is the earring do you like it please let me comment down below i love it a lot so yeah this time i go for local jewelry i think 22k is last forever and uh since i'm getting older now i'm 39 and i think i choose my present wisely this earring it lasts forever and the price i believe going to be increased and this is 22k yellow gold earring balina style and this is 100 percent handmade it's super beautiful yeah. this is the earring the first uh, jewelry that i got for my 39 uh, birthday so to me this earring is perfect shape this is oval uh, sharp uh, super pretty I think it's perfect for my face shape it's not too big it's not too small and it's just amazing i really like the detail on the earring the dot and they made very very good uh, quality okay so let me move on to the next one what i got on my uh 39 uh, birthday so the second one is also the same the second earring that i got the shape is like half moon but it is a uh, square compared to the first one the first one is a uh, sharp oval and this one is a uh, square shape so let me try on i'm super excited so let me show you the stem 22k on the earring yellow gold Gold earring this is Pelina style super pretty super super beautiful earring so let me try okay let me uh, zoom in this earring is super thick and heavy so this set is uh, five grams uh, so each is almost two and a half gram uh, it is a bit heavy but it's super thick which is I like so this is it the second earring that i got on my 39th birthday super beautiful earring so let me put on the center so that you can see side by side the size is perfect it's half moon it's not too big not too small actually this one they have the larger one i think the motif on the earring is the same and so the motif is the same only the uh, shape are different and this one also almost 5 grams so in total more or less is uh, 10 gram for two earrings super beautiful it is super beautiful i wanted to get the third earring actually this one but when i try on it's quite big and i'm still not sure i'm not thinking to get it but uh, we'll see maybe if i wanted to get uh, in the end of the month or next month i was hoping that they have a smaller size on the rounded one but unfortunately the time they don't have smaller size so yes or not i will get maybe the larger size okay so the next thing that i got is pendant so i got two pendant uh, this one is just cube and another one is m this is uh, my given name uh, first letter on my uh, given name okay so because i have a two plain uh, necklace the rope small rope and uh, the gucci chain so i wanted to uh, pair it with these uh, two necklaces so someone asked me on my youtube video what type of chain is this one so this is uh, the name of this chain is gucci chain and then the other one this one is rope 
okay this is uh, the thing that I wanted to uh, combine so this is the pendant on my rope uh, necklace and I was thinking it looking nice to pair these two together I think something uh, uh, something different on my uh, jewelry pair so if I get bored to pair this pendant with my rope necklace I can just remove the pendant and uh, place it with my uh, beads necklace and actually with the jewelry pendant we can uh, mix and match and we can pair it with another necklace I think uh, I like it and please leave me a comment down below if you do as well this one is quite unique and uh, I can get it only in Bali so yeah I think it's a unique jewelry handmade I choose this pendant because this is a perfect match with the earring also if I wanted to change the earring I can just replace with this earring and still quite matching as you see I think it's connected so the last one is M uh, alphabet pendant and this one is my first alphabet on my uh, given name is M so I put it all the way around uh, I think uh, it is nice with the Gucci necklace it's super tiny but I'm not going to wear with this earring because this one is quite sparkle and uh, the earring is more uh, matte and quite a uh, yellow it's all everything what i got for my birthday super simple uh, very traditional and uh, jewelry from bali so i'm excited to wear it and i hope you enjoy this video i will see you soon on my next one Hi everyone, welcome on my YouTube channel. I wish you all well. Today I will be covering on Rolex Lady Day Just 28mm, Mother of Pearl, Diamond Dial, and Jubilee Bracelet. I got some question from my subscriber that asked me if I remove some more on my link on the Rolex watch. Until today, I only have two experience on removing my Rolex Lady Day Just 28mm on the link. The first one when I buy the Rolex watch, and then the second one after I try 24 hours on the fitting on my Rolex watch link. Okay, so I've been wearing on and off. Uh, within 24 hours after I bought it I bring it home and testing and then I feel uncomfortable because uh, the watch is still loose too loose for me so after I've been worn my Rolex watch 24 hours I bring back to the store and I came to the sales association to remove two more links so the first link that I remove is two link and then the second one after a day I purchasing the Rolex removing two more link on my Rolex watch so until today I have not removed more on my Rolex. So I believe this question come from my subscriber or viewer who watching my previous video from one year ago. Yes, it was loose when I just purchased the Rolex watch. I wear it a little bit loose, but then by the year I gain weight. So little by little, I have experienced that my Rolex watch is getting tighter. So today this is my Rolex watch and I can feel after I have not wear it for a month so I feel that my Rolex watch is tight uh, when I do testing before uh, on my finger when I place it on the link on my Rolex watch it was just so easy but now I need to press it more to get in because this uh, Rolex watch is tight on my wrist so <laughs> this is can be my scale as well to check my weight if I can wait or lose weight uh, it is not comfortable I can say when uh, I wearing it now because to me uh, this is uh, tight fit and uh, snug fit I don't really like it and I prefer wearing it more loose um, because uh, I listened to my uh, essay when I was in the shop so basically they mentioned uh, when I'm wearing it loose uh, on the day I have uh, doing the activity it the body it get to uh, swell a little bit so the link on the watch is getting tighter and it will snug fit automatically because uh, it swell after we get the activity okay the other thing is the as i mentioned about the weather i think in summer it more sweat and it get much more tighter in the summer our body is sweat and hot it get uh, our body uh, heat and the temperature and swell okay so i think i still remember the as i mentioned that thing i would say now uh, if you are planning to get rolex watch i I would say I prefer the uh, loose fit. Um, you can try loose fit or tight 
is up to you but I would say loose fit is better. I believe the SA will guide you when you are planning to purchase Rolex watch but for me after years I'm wearing my Rolex watch I would say I prefer to wearing it loose. The size are 14 cm and then uh, on this size 28 mm my SA was suggest to remove only two uh, link on the uh, Rolex watch and uh, I was insist to remove two more. I'm going back to the shop and to ask the SA to remove two more link. So that's all what I can uh, sharing on my experience on the Rolex watch on the link. This is uh, after I believe I can wait and let me show you. Look, it is tight, super tight. And also you can just tell the side uh, on my wrist. And let me try on on the right hand side. It still fit, but I can feel it's super super tight. And I think in the future, if I'm gonna wait, I need to adjust one or two more. I believe two more because uh, the SA are removing two and two. Um, this is me. When I was asking to remove the second time, uh, the watch is still loose, but perfect loose because uh, too tight, not too loose. The first one it was super loose, and I even asked my SA to remove one more, which he insists he don't want to remove it for me. And the SA mentioned this is the perfect fit for your wrist. And after a month, I feel that the SA was correct. This is how I feel when my Rolex watch to lose. So what I feel is my Rolex watch just lie down easily. I can feel on my bone when the watch to lose, but for the medium loose. So, and then the second adjustment for me, it was perfect because not too loose, not too tight, just perfect. Now I can wait and this is snug fit and I'm not recommended to be honest. So yeah, super tight. Let me know if you do have the same experience like I do and yeah, just let me know, comment down below, okay? That's all what I can review on Rolex Lady Dejas 28mm, mother of ball diamond dial, jewelry bracelet. And especially I'm focusing on the bracelet of the video for today. I hope you enjoyed the video. Thank you so much for watching. I will see you soon. Hi everyone, welcome and welcome back on my YouTube channel. I hope you're all doing well. Today I will do unboxing on my new jewelry. I'm super excited. So I'm here in Thailand on my last day. Yesterday I went shopping with my friend. We spending time together. We went for lunch to the clinic and then we walking around on the shopping mall. The shopping mall is called Central World. So she went shopping for clothing. I went shopping for jewelry. I was looking around in the shopping mall to get a tennis bracelet because I'm looking for tennis bracelet for a while that fit my wrist and uh, good on my wrist so yesterday i find uh in this shop it's called glints i think this is a local uh, jewelry shop here is handcraft i uh, really happy to find this shop this is not sponsored at all so in the shopping mall i was trying few shop uh for tennis bracelet it didn't match uh, my uh style so finally i find it on this shop so because uh, this shop have so many uh, nice jewelry and i find the match necklace on my bracelet so I get the necklace as well and also I try the nice earring so in the end I just buy jewelry and set okay so today my last day here in Thailand I will do the unboxing on the jewelry with you so let me start to do the unboxing so this one is Glenn's by Cindy and let me start with the earring so this one is the earring the uh, box is just black, super nice box. I tried the style on this earring on a tiny, small, medium and the larger earring. So I get the medium one. This one is a uh, zirconian, uh, silver with coated with 18K white gold. Super beautiful, super beautiful earring hope the uh, camera catch the earring well super pretty i like it a lot i try a uh, four size on this earring and in the end i decided on the medium size i think the medium size is perfect on my ear loop And this is the 
mark on the post is 9. 2 and 5 is silver, coated with white gold. Okay, this is the earring. Super pretty, I like it. And let me try on the necklace. I'm super excited. The necklace is such a beautiful necklace. Okay, so this is the necklace. Let me check. Oh, this one is the bracelet. Let me show you the necklace first and then bracelet, okay? Okay, so this one is the box. And it has two layer. Let me... Try on the necklace. Okay, look at the necklace. It's so beautiful. So the SA mentioned to me to hold this uh, tennis necklace. You have to hold on the clubs and stand like this. Okay, so let me zoom in. It is super, super beautiful tennis necklace and the size is just perfect and this is made from uh, zirconian super beautiful necklace let me try on it has also different sizing but i just the matching one with my bracelet okay this is the way to open the necklace this is the clubs and be careful when you open your jewelry always ask the SA to show you how to do it okay never do by yourself in the store ask the SA to show you and then let them uh, show you and then you can understand how and then after we open we push this side and it's open so easy but you have to know because the cups is super small okay and let me try on the necklace the necklace is super beautiful Okay, so let me try on the bracelet as well. This is the necklace and the bracelet. So I got the matching bracelet. I think this size is super perfect. The bracelet also have the same mechanism on the uh, clubs. Okay, and the bracelet they uh, design uh, the clubs much more easy to open on this uh, hook. So I believe to make it much more easier because for the bracelet we need to open one hand. So this is the bracelet. Let me zoom in. It's just super pretty. Okay, yeah. Let me zoom in. Okay, so this is the matching tennis bracelet and necklace. I believe this size is 42 centimeter, and I got the bracelet uh, on size 15. Luckily, they have my size. I was so worried, and they only have one left on this bracelet. So I got the bracelet and the necklace. Okay, so I like it a lot. And this is the earring. Okay. Okay, I want to... Uh, Pairing this bracelet with my Cartier, I was try on on the shop and it looks super super beautiful. And now let me show you. This is the thing that I really wanted. If I get tennis bracelet, I want to pair with my Cartier. And this is the look. I know the tennis bracelet is a little bit loose. I believe I can adjust to make it shorter, but I wanted to keep it loose, I think. Okay. And that's all the video for today. I do unboxing my new jewelry tennis bracelet set, included with the earring. I hope you enjoy watching my video. And usually when I come to Bangkok, Thailand, I always purchasing gold. But this time, I want it to be different to remember. And I'm also looking for tennis bracelet. And I'm glad that I get this set. 
and thank you so much for watching if you do have question on this jewelry please leave me a comment down below by the way yesterday i just hit 100k view first time on my video the video is uh, unboxing rolex thank you so much for all your support and i will see you soon on my next video Okay everyone, so this is part 2 on whole video. I didn't expect it. The video is going super long. So this one is uh, Kiko Milano. I picked a few items from Kiko because I was trying on with my friend and I picked some eyeshadow. The item that I picked from Kiko, I have three items, foundation, highlighter, and also eyeshadow. First, I will uh, unbox the foundation and this one is 2-in-1. This one is natural and uh, 65. Uh, this is full coverage 2-in-1 It's super uh, intense foundation And this one is from Kiko, okay? So this one is range for medium skin tone I'm so curious, never try uh, Kiko Milano foundation uh, Let me see, I think this is also no uh, SPF, okay? So this is the foundation Okay, so the bottle is uh, small I think this one is, uh, let me see uh, how many ml I was thinking I can just pull the cover but uh, I need to open like this okay so this one is two in one full coverage I think I can use this one as a concealer as well under my eye wow this one is super beautiful uh, foundation from Kiko I didn't expect it like this because I didn't try actually in the shop but what do you think? This is from Kiko. So glowy and full coverage. Love it, this one. Yeah, the price on this one is $24.99. Uh, yeah, $25 around. Okay. So this is the Kiko Milano foundation here. As you see on my uh, medium skin tone. And this one is number uh, 65 and 65 from Kiko Milano foundation. Okay, the next item that I picked from Kiko is highlighter and I try on the shop, it's super glow. So I picked this one, this is liquid uh, highlighter from Kiko and this one is 02 Glow Fusion uh, Highlighter Drop. Love it, love it, love it and look at this, the bottle is super tiny and uh, the color is 02, okay. Uh, why I choose this one beside a uh, uh, stick or just a powder highlighter because I wanted to mix this one with my foundation actually so I picked the drop one this is liquid highlighter from Kiko so let me just try a small amount okay so this one is drop highlighter from Kiko super pigmented I need to apply this one and try with my foundation I think on my next video okay so this is a, so rosy glowy a little bit uh having like a uh, golden and this highlighter from kiko uh, 02 glow fusion uh, kiko milano highlighter is cost around 14 uh, us dollar 99 i think this one you need to try this is super amazing okay so let me try the next one from kiko so the next item from kiko the cosmetic i picked 01 magnetic uh, shell this one is 25 anniversary from kiko milano and this one is limited edition uh, eyeshadow uh, super pigmented eyeshadow i really like it and i really like it uh, i think one shade is no more available and only the green one and this one the pink one number 01 eyeshadow from Kiko I did try let me swatch on my hand and then I will try on on my eye okay this one is like a uh, 30 rows okay so this is the eyeshadow uh, it's quite different than in real I don't know in the uh, uh, camera it touch a little bit green but actually a little bit more purple this one is number one uh, I think my lighting so yeah it's like a little bit purplish uh, metallic so intense let me try on my eye this one is 01 I think it's super super pigmented eyeshadow from Kiko
Okay, so this one is the eyeshadow from Kiko Milano 01. Okay, so this one is the magnetic uh, eyeshadow uh, Belaza. Yeah, Belaza uh, 25 anniversary uh, from Kiko Milano 01 magnetic shell. Okay, let me zoom. The cost on this eyeshadow it costs fifteen dollar ninety nine cent. Yeah, it's almost a uh, sixteen dollar uh, US dollar. Okay, so let me zoom in again. This is the color, little bit light purple and uh, metallic uh, magnetic shell zero one. Super pretty. Okay, Comilano, because I believe I purchased several items, they give me some gift, and this one is just cream. Uh, I'll try tonight, uh, and let's see. How it's work okay this one is a uh, fresh rose face mask okay so i just picked uh, the item that i really like on kiko milano i think that's all if you have not seen my first uh, haul video from uh, sephora i will link the uh, video down below on the description hope you enjoy my whole video cosmetic and i will see you soon on my next one i think this video is uh, super long but hopefully you enjoy and thank you so much for watching if you do like uh, my whole video for cosmetic don't forget to subscribe on my youtube channel thank you so much for watching see you soon on my next one bye Hi everyone, welcome and welcome back on my YouTube channel. I wish you all well. Today I'm super excited. I will be showing you my new jewelry collection that I've been create for one week. And this jewelry can a little bit different than my uh, normal jewelry. I wanted to have uh, my jewelry a little bit vibrant. That's why I make uh, jewelry from gemstone. Um, this is my new jewelry. Okay, so let me show you. So I've been creating this bracelet. Uh, and this one is made from uh, Morganite. And I create two because I wanted to make uh, two bracelets that I can wear. So I combine the uh, Morganite with uh, Queen Elizabeth charm. I've been looking for this charm uh, months and finally I get this uh, charm and I create this bracelet. And let me show you how beautiful is the bracelet. Okay, so this is the bracelet and super beautiful. And I believe the Morganite gemstone are uh, import. We don't have here in Indonesia, gemstone is coming from Africa. Uh, yeah, I really love the bracelet. I wanted to add some more from different gemstones, but we'll see. Okay, so let me pair with the uh, Cartier bracelet. This is the look when I stocking with my Cartier love bracelet. Looking so stunning. I really love it. And uh, the Morganite is a slightly different color. There is like a light pink light blue and it's like mint super pretty i love it okay let me show you the next jewelry that i've been made and this is necklace yes i have so much bit necklace i create four and the material that i've been using is one, one is conite one is turquoise this one is from my old turquoise and the next one is malachite so i have two malachite that i've been made one with white gold charm and one with yellow gold for malachite i pick up two because i really like green and this gemstone is hard come by that's why i picked too. and on that store is almost sold out so yeah i pick in 6 mm the smaller size and then this one i believe is 8 mm and i was asking the staff in the shop and they mentioned this uh, malachite the natural gemstone malachite is from uh, russia okay um, usually i make my necklace with uh, hook but this time i just wanted to make with the uh, elastic cord okay now i'm wearing my uh, malachite gemstone necklace with a gold pendant this one is just cute and super nice i think this is great combination uh it's just simple and i like it what do you think guys please leave me a comment down below um i think uh i like it <laughs> and yeah uh, i'm not sure if it look good if i can layering with my other necklace from gold but uh yeah i like it let me show you the next uh, malachite necklace so this one is the next one it's looking like choker because i believe this one is larger size this one is 8 mm i think this one look bad as well with white gold and let me change the setting on the lighting okay so yeah i think it's nice and uh if I wear a simple uh, top and simple dress, this just a uh, statement necklace, so I don't need earring. This one is looking beautiful already, and yeah, this one is my new necklace. 
and let me know if you like malachite as well i do like it and it's just like um beautiful now you can see much more light so yeah and this necklace is around 42 uh, centimeter uh the previous one also the same the smaller size and yeah i like it a lot <laughs> i think it's great and i was surprised when i uh ate the uh, pendant on the necklace it's make the malachite necklace outstanding next one is uh, turquoise and i change it the uh, pendant maybe you see my previous video i ate the gold pendant but i change it from a uh, yellow gold to a uh, white gold pendant because uh, i was thinking when i wear it few time with gold pendant with initial t uh, it's looking too much because the stone is already so vibrant with yellow gold i think it's too much so i turned down and i change it to white gold and this one is very beautiful pendant and oval shape and I really like it especially if I'm wearing white this necklace is looking so beautiful okay so yeah I think this one is um, import as well from Russia but I think the origin is from America Arizona and Mexico I think I cannot get from Mexico or Arizona USA I get this one get the one from Russia uh, me this necklace is super sweet and pretty and the color is just so beautiful and this one is gemstone and I don't know how to call the color it's like soft lilac it's super pretty it's just super beautiful like a little bit purplish and pinkish so luster and it's just super beautiful and to make this necklace perfect is the pendant the pendant I find it in rose gold and make this necklace super perfect let me try on it is super pretty um, and the size on the stone is six millimeter and the necklace size is 42 and it is beautiful I like it and yeah I was so it to my friend and she liked it too <laughs> it's just beautiful and let me close up it's super pretty especially with rose gold a uh, heart pendant okay so let's talk about the benefit on gemstone i usually when i wanted to buy jewelry from gemstone i just look into the color on the gemstone i didn't know uh, i'm not expert on the uh, gemstone when i into gemstone uh, my first uh, attraction it was when i was in india because i travel uh, several times two times to india and i travel around and i see so many uh, beautiful gemstone jewelry with silver and then yes since then i in love with gemstone but i'm not expert until now i'm not really learning and i'm still buying because of the color but lately i'm starting to reading and then uh, because i am just uh, blind to pick the gemstone uh, now i starting to learn the meaning because uh, each gemstone it has meaning uh, and also give the energy that's why i reading and learning okay so now let's talk about the meaning i will read each meaning on this gemstone okay so the malachite uh, it is providing uh, protection affiliating negativity and physically helping to enhance overall well-being like your immune system your uh, respiratory system your liver and your energy levels oh wow <laughs> okay so yeah the malachite okay and then uh because i'm not expert so i need to read okay so the next one is the turquoise the benefit on the gemstone turquoise is helps to enhance communication and expression and for a uh, client is the healing benefit often having to do with love wow love and spiritual peace yes for this gemstone which is very good uh, the healing benefit and then the next one is morganite and for the morganite gemstone meaning is to bring healing compassion and promise to these who wear it okay so that's all the meaning on the gemstone and my attraction into gemstone i hope you enjoyed this video and quite different than my previous video <laughs> and yeah that's all my new jewelry from gemstone if you do like my new jewelry please leave me a comment down below if you wanted to make one also thank you so much for watching today i will see you soon on my next one take care hi everyone welcome on my youtube channel today i will show you how to clean jewelry i will be cleaning my vintage earring i just got it today i believe the seller doesn't clean it before uh, they send it to me let me show you how dirty is the earring
as you see on the paws it has something like mold and greenies also right here as you see oh my god so the thing that we need to clean this uh, vintage earring is I will be using the eucalyptus oil and just cotton and cotton buds and this one to pick uh, for cleaning insert of the earring and then uh, antiseptic uh, webs and also tissue okay I believe there is a several technique to clean the jewelry but today I don't want to use any water uh, I will be using the eucalyptus oil very simple I'm careful because this is a vintage earring uh, so I just uh, dump a little bit the cotton buds with the eucalyptus and I will just uh, start it uh, wave the dirt on the earring So I just clean it uh, gently on the earring, moving a circle, and I believe you can brush it and put uh, some soap, but I want it to be gentle. This one is golden brush. As you see, there is still greenish uh, mold on the earring and also in the inside. I'm trying to clean it just with a small drop with the eucalyptus uh, oil, and then I'm just going to use tiny brush. Okay, so the rest on this earring is so the earring is clean I believe there is something like a glue over there and cannot be clean but anyway this earring is uh, shine now so I just uh, dumped uh, the cotton to clean uh, for the rest of the earring you see on the left is looking much more shine than see how dirty is the earring oh my god it's so dirty so dirty but oh my god it's super dirty as you see the earring is shine and clean the last step is just going to wipe it with antibacterial wipes just to make sure the uh, Earring is clean. I believe there is other technique to clean uh, vintage jewelry, but this is the way uh, I use and I like to clean my vintage jewelry because I don't want my vintage jewelry having to be cow. The last step we're going to dump it with the dry tissue. Now my vintage earring is clean and shine. That's the way I clean my vintage jewelry. Super easy. I hope you enjoyed the video. Hi everyone, welcome and welcome back to my YouTube channel. For both of you who are new to my YouTube channel, welcome. Today, I will be review on my Van Cleef and Arpel Sweet Alhambra earrings. So in my collection, I have two. One in Mother of Pearl and one in Onyx Stone. Which one is my favorite and which one is the most used earring on my collection, okay? I don't have that much and if you see this small pouch, you cannot get it anymore this year. So the pouch from Van Cleef and Arpel, it was discontinued since 2021, okay? So I'm lucky I have one. This one is from my Mother of Pearls with Alhambra earring, okay? So the first that I'm going to show you is my Onyx uh, earring. So this is the earring uh, sweet Alhambra, super pretty. And this is the second one on my collection, which is Mother of Pearl. Both are in yellow gold and sweet Alhambra. Small thing that I learned from SA when I was in the store. If you're wearing your Van Cleef and Arbel's uh, earring, you should hold on the side, not from the front like this, okay? And then you can wear your earring. I learned from SA. She uh, teach me how to wear the earring. This is my Van Cleef and Arbel sweet Alhambra earring. 18k yellow gold with mother of pearl and also i wanted to show you the one with onyx okay so if you have a small ear loop you will look good in sweet alhambra earring 
Okay, so now I'm gonna be showing you this one is my Van Cleef and Arpels with Alhambra Onyx with 18k yellow gold. The Onyx stone is super shine as you see. Um, okay, now I'm gonna be showing you side by side on these two earrings in case you wanted to see as well. And I believe I can wear uh, like this on the side is pearl and on the other side is onyx. What do you think? Please comment down below. <laughs> Okay, so if you are planning to get this earring, me, myself, I cannot say to you, uh, I like this one more over than the Onyx, okay? This is the thing that I wanted to tell you. Maybe if you are still not owning this earring, you might thinking like you will wear the Onyx Alhambra earring in the evening. So to be honest with you, I'm wearing my Onyx with Alhambra day to night. To be honest so i don't have a limitation to wear these two earrings for uh, evening for day or for, na for night i wear it all day long until evening so with these two earrings it's just absolutely perfect i love it all but uh, what i can say to be honest i reach my mother of pearl more often than the onyx okay i also see some uh, comment on my youtube video if i sleep or uh, wearing this uh, earring 24 hour okay uh, the answer is yes i did shower with my earring i did sleep with my earring so sometimes when i'm wearing this earring i don't quite often to remove it i just uh, wear it okay because uh, one thing that i don't like about this earring when i'm wearing it i just lazy to remove it because um i when i have long nail uh, I find it a little bit difficult to, to open the back on the earring, that's all. But overall, I really love this earring, no regret at all. Uh, very beautiful earring, I can wear 24 hours, I can wear with my any outfit. It is a uh, very, very luxurious uh, earring. That's all the quick video about my Van Cleef and Arpel Sweet Alhambra earring. I hope you enjoyed this video, thank you so much for watching, I will see you soon. Hi everyone, welcome and welcome back on my YouTube channel. Hope you all well. Today I will be answering your question about the bracelet. Sometimes I read your comment, sometimes I miss your comment, but for sure I always read your comment. Okay, so this is the comment that I uh, really read again. It was four months ago and uh, the comment is I'm thinking about uh, which one is the best, Love Original, Just Unclue Original or CDC Hermes. Please your recommend. This is the three bracelet that you was ask me which one I recommended to you. Okay, so one is love bracelet regular, one is juice and clue regular, and one is Hermes CDC bracelet. Okay, I think I cannot say myself like you should get this bracelet, but if I have to start it over again from the first one, which bracelet that I should get i think i can uh, tell you now okay so if you are the person who are confused uh, which bracelet you should get uh if i ask myself uh today i think i will get the first bracelet on my collection it would be a uh, cartier love bracelet regular uh, I will explain to you why. Uh, in my collection, when I started uh, my fine luxury bracelet collection, I started with Hermes CDC uh, bracelet. Also having confusion, which one should I get first? Uh, I finally decided to get the Hermes CDC first, but then after a few months, I get the bracelet. I cannot stand the noise. That is the one thing that I don't like about the bracelet. The noise on the bracelet, uh, on the col collar, Everything else is fine. Um, I think if you wanted to uh, get which one first on your collection, you should try all and then you can fill it and you can decide it which one. But I believe it's really personal preference. You can get uh, get which bracelet you want. But for me, my preference, if I have to start it over again, I will get the first one is uh, Cartier Love Bracelet Regular. With this bracelet, uh, I'm not so often uh, remove the bracelet. Mostly, I always wear it, okay? But with uh, Hermes, I just cannot stand the noise, that's all. Anything else is super beautiful bracelet. It's really eye-catching, super elegant. Love it, love it, love it. But, yeah. I think my preference just love bracelet or just unclue it is super nice bracelet but for me it wanna be uh, my first fine luxury bracelet collection I think just no I think I prefer this love bracelet or CDC uh, bracelet I think hope it's help on your decision it is all my answer about uh, this 
three bracelet which one you should get it first i hope my video is helping you to make decision which one you wanted to get first on fine luxury bracelet okay thank you so much for asking me i will see you soon on my next one take care Today is special video. I create this video to show you how you can create beautiful necklace with uh, initial pendant. So I create this uh, necklace for a 20 minute to 30 minute. I wanted to share this video because uh, in one month it's going to be my birthday and I wanted to have something different on my jewelry. Also, I almost hit 2k a subscriber, so I wanted to make uh, some kind of different video. And I hope you enjoy this video. If you wanted to have this beautiful bead necklace with initial please follow step by step on the video I will explain also on the description I was thinking because in one month is going to be my birthday I wanted to have uh, some kind of different jewelry in my collection because I cannot get this type of necklace in the store so I just thinking what if I make by myself say this necklace I using uh, turquoise and 18k pendant initial T because my name I actually have T and M but uh, on this necklace please i just use my first name initial first name okay so if you are interested to create one this beautiful necklace please follow step by step on this video okay so this necklace that i create today is done very well um let me show you the clubs on the back i use a gold material super easy to make 20 to 30 minutes so you can create by yourself at home if you're interested to make one okay I think um, yeah this video is a little bit different than usual but I hope you enjoy uh, this video if you do please let me comment down below and enjoy
everyone welcome on my youtube channel today i will be talking on tiffany two white bracelet i got question from my subscriber that asking if the tiffany two white bracelet sometime sometime fall off my wrist so i got the answer for you today okay before i answer the question let me read the comment so the question is hi titi hi, hi everyone <laughs> how are you <laughs> So thanks for sharing. Uh, I love Tiffany T wire bracelet and I would get one. Have you ever had a problem with it slipping or falling off your wrist? A bit worried because it's open and the metal seems quite flexible. So could maybe easily to fall off if you bend your wrist in certain position. Okay, very good question and thank you for uh, questioning uh, this bracelet and comment on my video. I will be answering your question shortly. So first let me show you the bracelet. So this one is Tiffany wire bracelet medium size and rose gold my wrists are 14 centimeter just for the preference okay so current price on tiffany T wire bracelet uh regular is 2400 us dollar and this style it has narrow and thicker style so mine is just the regular one okay so it has been for years i'm wearing this uh bracelet and the problem that i got is always on the tangle this bracelet mostly tangle on my clothes or with another bracelet especially with chain bracelet and then the other thing that i experiencing is one time this bracelet it's tangled with my uh, handbag and the chain handbag that it has small chain the most problem that i got from this uh, bracelet so what i mean by uh, tangle on the chain bracelet is let me show you it's then often always tangle like this okay okay so I, to be honest, never ever have that experience in my life since I wearing this uh, Tiffany Tiffany bracelet. Never ever that this bracelet fall off from my wrist. Well, luckily, it never happened to me. But I almost break this bracelet because one time it's tangled on my clothing and I almost pull the bracelet. When the bracelet tangled on your clothing, don't just pull the bracelet because it could break the bracelet. Be careful. Tiffany Tiffany bracelet are lightweight and super comfortable to wear even though the bracelet look tiny but the bracelet is super strong you're not just easily to break this bracelet on this collection they have also the narrow version and the thicker version uh, depend which one you want to get is this Tiffany bracelet worth it for me yes uh, each year increase the price and worth it if uh, you wear it uh, like I do so I always wearing my Tiffany Tiffany bracelet and enjoy it that's the thing and I understand why you have that question because uh, me, myself, before I got the Tiffany T wire bracelet, I have the same question. Do this bracelet easy to break? Do this bracelet easy to fall off? I believe only one problem on Tiffany T wire bracelet, which is if you uh, put on, taking off often and you need to twist it, the edge on the uh, T sign on Tiffany T wire bracelet, of course, uh, over time get uh, misaligned because of normal wear i never ever get bored with my tiffany wire bracelet i am uh, sometimes stacking my tiffany wire bracelet with my other bracelet like cartier and other chain bracelet and as you see today i'm wearing with my cartier bracelet as well it's just looking uh, nice arm candy i think that's all what i can answer your question and thank you so much for asking that question and i hope you enjoy this video and i will see you soon on my next one take care Hey everyone, welcome and welcome back on my YouTube channel. I hope you're all doing well. Today I will be talking on Tiffany bracelet. This is Tiffany bead bracelet and uh, from the Return to Tiffany collection. I got it eight months ago. And on this video, I will be answering your question on the bracelet. Okay, so I read all your comments and uh, I'm excited to answer. Okay, so the first question is, how much is the bead on the bracelet? Uh, this is 41 the bit is very small i count is 41 and does the bracelet uh, stretch over time what i can say after eight months i've been wore this bracelet i don't think so the bracelet uh, going to be stretch this bracelet made from good quality and the chain on the bracelet is very very strong and i don't think so the bracelet going to be stretch over time okay uh after eight months uh what i noticed on this bracelet is one thing the charm on the bracelet it got scratched a lot over time okay and hopefully the camera can catch the scratch is really a lot of scratch on the charm okay and then uh other thing that i noticed about the bracelet is it is getting dull um, because I've been wearing this bracelet at month non-stop 
shower, swimming, I do activity with this bracelet. I do love this bracelet. And this bracelet is lightweight. I can wear this bracelet with my other jewelry. Even sometimes I pair this uh, bracelet with my Rolex watch. So do I recommend it about this bracelet? Definitely I recommend it. I love it a lot. And something that I noticed as well on the clubs inside, it got tool it not really shine again but i believe i can take it to tiffany and make it shine again for cleaning okay the other thing on this bracelet is um uh, the sizing because uh you asked about uh the sizing i got the size xs which is smaller size my wrists are 14 centimeter and as uh, someone spot when i'm wearing this bracelet on the video if i should make it uh, tighter on the wrist no because this is the smaller size is xs and the sa just picked the right size for me and this uh, tiffany bead bracelet it should be loose on the wrist okay it should be very comfortable on the wrist it is should be loose because this is chain bracelet and this is just perfect size if you wanted to get this bracelet your wrists are 14 cm and the size xs is perfect for you now let me zoom the uh bead i believe the bead is get scratches a lot but since this uh bead still super shine also uh super tiny i really cannot spot the scratches on the bead okay so anything else would i repurchase this bracelet i believe so i check on tiffany website there is a lot of selection on this bracelet and i really like the white gold as well so um i think this bracelet is worth it because i use a lot this is the most important thing don't buy because someone else buy buy something that you really like and you really really like okay so i think that's all about the bracelet today and thank you so much for asking me and watching my video i will see you soon on my next one hi everyone welcome and welcome back on my youtube channel i hope you're all doing well today i will be review on the cartier just add glue bracelet okay so on my collection i have two really i'm really comparing these two bracelets so today I wanted to uh, showing you more on the bracelet and which one I prefer and I will let you know the cost on these two bracelets. Well, current price for this one is three thousand four hundred and for just unglue regular, this costs uh, seven thousand five hundred. The first just unglue bracelet on my collection is the regular, and and then continue to the SM. Uh, this one. But uh, the regular uh, bracelet, I was purchasing a new one from the store. And this one, the SM, I was purchasing a uh, pre-love. So I have two different experiences on the bracelet. Measurement on my wrist are 14 cm for your preference. And this uh, Cartier Just on Clue are size 15. You always ask me which one I prefer more, the regular or the SM. Uh, because I think the first uh, juice and glue in my collection is, re is regular that's why I uh, like the regular more at the first time and then when I got the second one the SM I fall in love to this size so this is the Carrier juice and glue regular this one is the small one the small one is in rose gold and size uh, 15 the same as the regular one this is size 15 as well uh, the regular is a yellow gold and the Just and Clue SM is rose gold. I think if you own these two Cartier Love bracelet, the SM and the regular, you will understand what I mean because I'm changing uh, my feeling toward the bracelet. I think when I'm wearing the bracelet also depend on the occasion, but mostly uh, right now at the moment, I like the regular one. So I'm wearing uh, mostly more often the regular compared to the SM, but I don't know, maybe in the few months, I like the SM more. We'll see. The proper way to wearing Cartier Just Unclue bracelet is the head always on the top and uh, do the same also with the SM. After a few years, I'm owning these two bracelets. I still love it. The thing that I don't like on the bracelet, sometimes this bracelet tangle on the clothing. So you need to be careful when you wear it. 
because you don't want to break your bracelet. To be honest, I'd be more careful with my Cartier Juice on Glue SM over regular because the regular, the head is attached on the bracelet uh, and the style on SM, this is can widely open so i be more careful when this uh, hook to your clothing or uh, tangle it could be to break your Cartier just on Glue SM so when you wear it you need to be more careful and watch the way you move <laughs> what I mean the Cartier just on Glue SM is much more fragile compared to the regular one so you need to know that so if you're planning to get this Cartier bracelet you can uh, try on on the store and you can feel about the bracelet and if you're sure you can buy it uh, okay so I think there's all the small review on my Cartier just on Glue uh, regular and SM bracelet. I hope you enjoyed the video. Thank you so much for watching. I will see you soon on my next one